Hey guys, today we are going to talk about what is arguably one of the strongest decks of all time. It is the Turn Zero Win deck. It plays Flash and Protein Hulk as your win combination, but it's very unique because it can win on turn zero. That's why it is famous and that's why it is, in my opinion, the best deck ever to be played. So if you win the dice roll or the coin flip, choose to draw. You want a hand of eight to protect your cards. If you lose the dice roll or lose the coin flip, you will probably be drawing anyway because it is likely your opponent will play. Now an ideal hand will include Gemstone Cavern, Spirit Guide, one of the two Spirit Guides, Simeon or Elvis, Flash, Hulk, maybe a Lotus Petal, and a possibly a Summoner's Pack. It depends. So the first part of the combo is Hulk. Hulk is 7. It is from Descension, so a older card. When it is put into your graveyard from play, you can search your library for any number of creature cards with converted mana cost 6 or less and put them into play. That means you can search stuff that costs 0 or X. You can search infinite amounts of those. As long as all the cards you search add up to 6 or less, it's okay. The next card was so good it was banned. Flash, one in blue instant speed, put a creature card from your hand into play. You may pay its mana cost, reduced by 2, if you don't sacrifice it. You are not going to pay its mana cost reduced by 2 because you want to sacrifice it, which will trigger the Hulk and get you a few different pieces. Now the pieces, back in the day, when I played the deck, there wasn't that many great pieces to get. There's more pieces now. This is the traditional way to win. You have Phyrexian, which costs X. You're going to pay it for zero. Uh, whenever it comes in play, it comes in play with, in this case, zero plus one plus one counters. Cannot block, cannot attack, unless you pay one for each plus one plus one counter. But in this case, you're not going to pay anything, and it's just going to die. You you play four of these, your Hulk will bring out all four of them. All four of them. If you have one of them in your hand, you'll bring out that too. Sifting Wall is another card very similar. It counts as a wall, you pay X, it comes in play with X plus one plus one counters. In this case, you're gonna pay zero, and it will just die, and you will play four of these. Even if you have one stuck in your hand, you can still play it and it will be fine. Your win condition is actually multiple disciplines of the vaults, and that's why we have so many of these artifacts. Not so many, but we do want eight of them. So Discipline of the Vault, you can go ahead and grab four of these guys, four Lotus Petals, four Phyrexians, four Shifting Walls, and just sacrifice them all to deal a tremendous amount of damage. Whenever an artifact is put into a graveyard from play, you may have target opponent lose one life. In this case, you have multiple artifacts going into the graveyard and you have multiple Disciplines. Now, the land base is very unique. Uh, cavern, Gemstone Cavern, this is how you win. Remember, Flask is an instant, so you can play on your opponent's turn. If Gemstone Cavern is in your opening hand and you're not playing first, this is why you choose to draw. You may begin the game with Gemstone Cavern in play with a luck counter on it. If you do, remove a card in your hand from the game. Uh, you can tap it to add a colorless to your mana pool if it has a luck counter you get mana of any color which is very important the other cards that are going to allow you to play flash on your opponent's turn even before your turn turn zero is elvis spirit guide definitely a very good card if it's in your hand you may remove it from the game to get one green mana you can play this as an interrupt which is today we just call instance so pretty strong and there's repetition what made this deck so powerful is there's the pieces repeat themselves. The artifacts, and you have a tutor, right? The Hulk is actually a tutor that grabs your win con automatically. Uh, Simeon Spirit Guide, same thing as the Elvis Spirit Guide. Uh, you can remove it to add from, from in your hand from the game to add a red mana, and then with the Gemstone Cavern giving you blue, you can flash right away. Now, other interesting parts of the deck is in case you don't have the combo initially, 
turn one is a win for you regardless as soon as the turn comes you have some lotus pedals that you can play lotus pedal is also amazing with discipline of the vault just as a combo itself and lotus pedal offers more artifacts to sacrifice it offers uh, mana acceleration into what you need and you can play out most of these cards from your hand because they're extremely cheap now how do you protect this combo there are two ways that you can protect it force of will let's say they counter flash it would be very difficult to counter this they would need mental misstep but during this time when this deck was legal mental misstep was not a card so during the time there was very limited ways to interact force spike was probably one of the better ways so force of will which also counters your opponent's force of will should they have it and pack of negation pack of negation being a very very strong card because you're not you're going to win right then and right there there's no reason to even consider paying the five you're going to win very strong deck definitely one of my favorite decks i played the deck was legal for a short period of time i want to say a few months before they banned the flash part of the flash hulk and without flash the hulk is really not that good fun fun combo in ed8 though and you can build around it um, using different combinations of cards as well so leave me a comment below is this your favorite deck do you feel like this is the strongest deck definitely winning on turn zero is pretty impressive in my opinion anyway bye guys